Welcome to my channel, Planet with Maserati. I'm going to be doing the daily scripture writing for day 28. We are done in February as of today. Tomorrow will be March 1st. Can't believe it. So I am done with the devotionals except for the growing in love and that I'll be doing today to finish up. And then I'll be complete except for the soap study. Whew. But I am almost there. So welcome. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So I'm um, just fixing the ring light. Because you can get the... Well, you still do. Let's see if I bend it up. Then it takes away from the color. You're still getting the ring light. So there's nothing I could do. Uh, even worse. Okay. There you go. Fixed it. Got a little bit off here, but that's okay. So, with that being said, welcome again. Please subscribe and hit that post notification bell. If you could give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So, for the month of February, we're focused on reading, writing, praying, and reflecting God's renewing word of love. And again, we're on day 28, which is Joshua 24, 26. I do the soap study when I can. Scripture, observation, application, and prayer. And again, we are done as of today with Love Like Jesus. I am done as of two days ago. But as of today, we should be all done with Love Like Jesus. And then if you chose, you know, to do that, that's great. It was extra. And let's begin with reading Joshua 24 through 26. So this is March. So we are here. Joshua 24, 26. I don't know why I say through 26. It's 24 dash 26. Not even a dash. It's Joshua 24, 26. See, the last one, I would have to mess up. This is a nice pen. It's called Accent Care. Um, but it's really big. Korea. But I don't know this pen. Like, I have not seen this pen anywhere. But see how dark that writes? And it's like almost like a gel. All right, so let's get into Joshua. Let's see what he, ha what he has to say. Let's read what it says. So Joshua 24, 26. Okay, and it says, And Joshua recorded these things in the book of the law of God. Then he took a large stone and set it up there under the oak near the holy place of the Lord. Let's read it again. <coughs> Sorry, let me get water. I had a, a feeling it was coming. That's why I grabbed the water. I love when water is ice cold. See, it's wetting. It's ice cold. My house is extremely hot. My apartment is really hot. It says, and Joshua recorded these things in the book of the law of God. Then he took a large stone and set it up there under the oak near the holy place of the Lord. So how's everybody doing? And are you on your last day of February? Well, we're all on our last days of February, but you know what I mean. Like your scripture reading. I cannot believe I actually am caught up. Today's the 28th. I had to charge my watch. And then, um, yeah, so I'm actually all caught up. Feels great to be caught up with devotional and scripture. Not so much the soap study. Because, I mean, I don't know. I've just been busy doing nonsense. But then I was busy doing my devotionals the last, I would say, two weeks. Not even two weeks. I would get into it, and then I would wait a couple of days, get into it again. March, I swear, I am doing it the same day. Wait, what am I writing? These things. Okay. I have a habit of reading above what I'm writing. And then I start to write that instead of, it's capitalized. A 
how crazy my B looks. And then I start to write that, and then I have to white it out or try to fix it. So, yeah. I have been doing good. I had a test supposed to be done today, the 28th. And it was for my heart to, you know, check to see, like, what's going on with it. Why my blood pressure is, you know, always extremely high. How is my heart taking it? Things like that. Well, I get a message yesterday. An email, not a message, an email. Not even a phone call, just an email. Like, did you actually think that someone was going to look at that email at 5.30 at night? Well, I actually did. And it stated that, you know, my insurance is not covering the most expensive test that they gave, which is understandable. I'm okay with that. But why didn't you contact me by phone to let me know not to show up? I would have never known not to show up if I didn't get that email at 530. So we could look at it two ways. I could look at it as, it, thank God that, you know, I got that email and it's saying not to show up. Or I could look at it as, like, somebody put that off, that phone call, and I would have showed up and probably, you know, been disappointed, upset, and probably changed the doctor. Because I have done that in the past where I would change the doctor. Because I feel like this should have been all taken care of. And yes, they have, you know, other patients and I get that. But I am a patient too and I need to be, you know, taken care of correctly. I could be wrong in the way I'm saying it, but that is how I felt. So I'm just going to put this here. I already set up for day one, so I don't have to do that. Oh, I could put eight, verse eight. And then it was kind of crazy. It's like we're done with the NIV. You know, the baby. The baby of the house. And I just didn't understand. Like, why wouldn't you call me? Why would you email me and then expect me to, like, you know, every day, like, look at the emails and be like, okay, oh my God, is, you know, are they going to call me? The hospital going to call, like, email me? It wouldn't make any sense. So. Yeah, that's what happened to me yesterday. So today they called, and I asked the nurse that's you know works with the doctor. I was like, when she said her whole spew of why it wasn't covered, what they need to do after to get it covered, or to try to see if it could get covered, they want me to do a stress test. They want me to go onto a treadmill. Okay, so I've had that kind of test before without a treadmill. I'm laying in bed, and they stressed my heart, and it was abnormal. Abnormal. So that is with just laying in bed. Now they want to stress my heart. They want me to do the treadmill. They're going to stress my heart as I'm, like, doing the treadmill and doing what they asked me to do and see if my heart can take a treadmill. Now, if I laid in bed and my heart was stressed, you don't think that the treadmill will? But that's what the, in the insurance company wants. So you have to go with what the insurance company wants. And yeah, so we're waiting on approval now for that. So when will I have it? I have no idea, but we're waiting on approval. So that is what happened to me today. And I asked her too as well. I was like, um, let me ask you a question. If this was supposed to be done January 6th and it got denied. And then in February, they called me to tell me it was denied and they're going to redo it. They waited till the last day of the month, which is February 28th, which I got the phone call. And well, February 27th, they emailed me to tell me that it's been canceled. She's like, no, it was canceled, Miss Wright, in the 27th, no, the 24th. I was like, and I'm just finding this out now that it was canceled on the 24th. 
no one's told me that. Nobody's reached out to me. They reached out to me on the 28th to say, hey, we canceled your appointment on the 20 to sign documents, actually. We canceled your appointments on the 28th. So when I called yesterday, I was like, what do you mean, you know, it didn't go through? Tomorrow is my test date. She's like, yeah, they're not in right now. You're going to have to call tomorrow. So when I was speaking to the lady today, like I was saying, and I was telling her, like, they waited the day before. Make it make sense. Like, but I was nice to her. I didn't say anything rude. And I was just thinking in my head, like, make that make sense. You waited till the day before to tell me. And then you call me, like, about an hour ago. Yeah. We have to figure something else out because you're, you know, it was canceled. Like, you even did it. Like. I was like, whatever. And she was like, any more questions? No. No, I'm good with the questions. So we'll be back here tomorrow for March 1st, which I'm excited. It is Abide in Christ. No, I'm sorry. Abiding in Him. And then I just put the word abiding. And then I find sticker books that have the word. I was like, really? But that, I like how it turned out. Even though this is blue with silver and it's like holographic. I still like how it turned out because it's in like a green color. Here's a sticker I found. But there was still more. But it's by the Ruffled Mangle. So if you're interested in that. I don't take credit for anything that is not mine. Like if I'm looking for scripture and it's abide. And I come across scripture in the Bible. Then yeah, I would do it that way. And say, hey, this is by Maserati right? But if it's not. I will tell you who it's by. And it's the Ruffle Mangle. This one, I don't remember if I said who it's by. Usually I write it. No, this one I didn't write. But this one's not mine. I think I did January's. The Promises of God. Yeah, I did January's. Or was it December? One of these two I did. And this is Peace. So we'll be back for Abiding in Him tomorrow but let's go ahead and read Joshua 24 26 I was ready really 26 Joshua 24 26 so here's Joshua 24 and then here is 26 let me bring it up it says Joshua recorded these things in the book of the law of God, he also took a large stone and set it up there under the oak at the sanctuary of the Lord. Let's say it again. Joshua recorded these things in the book of the law of God. He also took a large stone and set it up there under the oak at the sanctuary of the Lord. So you notice that I have not been really writing in here because I want to do Bible studies and write notes. I've been watching one of the girls, and they take, and I know I don't have them in front of me. It's, say it's like half of this size, and Dollar Tree sells them. It's like this size here, not this, just like that. And then they'll put it in between here and write their notes. I just thought that was a pretty good idea. Or even these little small ones, you can put it like this. And write your notes. So I thought that was a pretty good idea. Even a big old t-shirt. Just put it and write your notes. But yeah, so I'm thinking of doing that with... Well, I'll be writing in here. But just as I'm reading the book. And I'm going to start with... I figured because I didn't finish Matthew. Like doing anything with Matthew. I wanted to start with... It's over here in the back. It's right... So it's Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Right here. So I'm going to start here. And I need to find a notebook. I have so many. Trust me. I even have more like these. I have, I think, two more like this. But I used it for, like, my to-dos. So maybe this one? This is yesterday's. So I already did it. See, I write notes. 
Um, I think it may be this one, but then I don't like the way this looks because you don't have enough room. But when you flip it, see the holes are in the wrong spot, but it's for like a three ring binder. But you wouldn't tell by the binding of this book. So I don't know if I want to use this one or if I should use. I'm not a fan of it, but I mean, I have plenty of these. Or no, 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 no. I think I have an idea. I have these books. See, I'm not even closing the video out yet. Well, I did, but I have this one, which was an idea, a dot grid. But you know I don't write straight, and I would have to, like, look down. But it would be cute to do a book in here with that. But I have this one, and it's a three-ring... Not three ring, three spiral subject, three subject notebook by Erin Condren. And you have like things you can do here, but then you have your paper. So you're like your dashboard type thing. And then you have your notes or whatever you want to take. You have plenty of paper in here. This paper is good quality, really good quality. And then you have again, another, if you wanted to do another month like that, another section, but this could be like top four things which you want to do some bible verses anything here anything here right and then you have paper and then again the next one same thing so that's this one i was thinking of using that's why these are out but here is one i did so the she reads truth is done sorry um let me put this aside so this one here let me move these out of the way now since we have room Oh, and then I have this one before I get to that one. I can do a study in this one, which is graph, which I kind of lean towards because it's small enough to put in your purse and take on the go. But this one is, this is me that put this, I forgot the D or they would have fit it. It has my name, Jesus, and iced coffee, iced coffee. <laughs> It has stickers that is from the recollections. So let me take these out. I don't like these stickers do this. It gets attached to other stuff. Okay, so we have stickers. We have the months that I can actually do March in here. And ooh, that would be a good idea. March is this color. I wish it was this color. And then you have this. Oh, March right here. Either the big one or the small one. But those are recollection stickers that come out of a spiral planner. And so here, it just says take note. It's graph paper. And it's just all graph paper. And I can do Bible study in here. And then, as you've seen in one of these books. Now I'm just running around in circles. So in this book, which is my devotionals, you see I tabbed out the months. I could do the same with, look at my grandson's socks. How cute are those? Um, those are from Dollar Tree. I am not afraid to say I shop at Dollar Tree. Um, I could do one, two, three, four, five books with just this one. And then these, I can do, like, stick them out like that. Or stick them in like this and have this sticking out as a tab. And just back it with this, because this is just a hard sticker. And so are these. They're tabs, but they're hard stickers. And they last. Look at this. Look how cute that is. So here I am on this one. So I still have... For the devotional day three four and five and i'm done and then that'll take a few more pages and then i'll have for march and then whatever's left i'll have to get another book probably again like a spiral bound i have plenty of those so that is for that one but so i was thinking this one or the three subject because you could do like a book with a subject another book and then another book but that would be intensive you know notes or 
put that one back. Do this one and just keep whatever notes you take and how many pages and then tab out, you know, when you're done with that book of the Bible. Or the reason I'm leaning towards this one is because it's small. It's like half that size. It's even smaller than, well, white, height-wise it's not. It's longer. It's taller. But width-wise, it's smaller than that one. And this one's a good one to put in your purse. But I'm thinking this one, and then I could just decorate it. So, leave me a comment which one you think is good for me to use. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Thank you again for watching. And I will talk to you in the next video. But the book I'm going to be working on is the book of John. That was a recommendation for somebody that is new to like completely doing a Bible study. Book of John. First book. So that would be my Bible study. And again, I just got to decide, decide on the paper. And then I'm going to start it. Matthew, I did not get through because... I have no idea. <laughs> I just didn't get through it. But yeah, so thank you for watching. And this is going to be my study Bible, I believe. Because the other one you can't really do too much with. The NIV. But I do have a purse planner that I could do something with. But we'll see. Thank you for watching. Again, I will talk to you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.